What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, shout out to dot, 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 those images in the back. The one of the wolf, uh, the two wolves, is from my best friend Nick, and that is pure fire. And uh, before, I had like this file cabinet type thing, whatever, um, and I needed to replace it. So I found on Amazon the same size as the wolf, but this one's a lion. And it's sick. Like, I, I hate to say, like, you know, like, prideful, but I literally love looking at myself recording this video right now, <laughs> simply because the background is is pure fire. And then, obviously, Coach Dennis sent us over, uh, which me and my son, we just made a video this morning about, you know, affirmations. He sent us over a custom Heartletics affirmation board. It's awesome. Got my vision board back there. I got my success tips right there. I love coming down here into the office and doing what I do, coaching clients, responding back to people like members, helping out the, the coaches, making this content as far as like the podcast goes. We have a, a new segment over on YouTube also called Five Minutes of Fitness. So that way, if you guys want something a little bit more quicker, not all the fluff, right? Like how I kind of talk about and ramble on, you know, time and time on these podcasts. Hey, those five minute fitness videos, it's a new segment, new playlist. It's right there. While you're there, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, that's it. Hey, cool. Now let's talk about uh, something actually very important. So I'll be honest with you guys. I was not going to talk about this at all because the last few podcast episodes, we were talking about training and uh, tomorrow's podcast, we're going to be talking all about protein, which is great. Some of the myths that are out there about having a high protein diet, uh, some are some easy ways on how to easily get more protein in because obviously that's higher up on the thermic effect of food that aids in burning more body fat, building more lean muscle tissue. So that way, hey, guess what? You can increase your metabolism. So tomorrow's episode, we're going to be doing a special presentation for all the members inside of our weekly Zoom chat. And uh, I'm going to have that recorded. So I thought, okay, hey, why don't we just talk about nutrition? You know, the past few tips or a few episodes, we're talking about tips with training, why don't today we just talk about nutrition and then branch off, right? It would make sense because tomorrow we're talking about protein. But I got to tell you, you know, at the end of the day, my life's kind of like a roller coaster, mystery ride, right? And um, I was going to talk about nutrition, but I just got off a kickoff call, a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our newest members, Greg, and it happened to be a an amazing call and uh, legit, such an amazing call. And he mentioned something to me that kind of struck out where I was like, man, I want more people to understand this. I want more people to understand um, how important it really is. And that's gratitude. Okay. So I'll put it to you like this, right? Greg is brand new. He's just completed his prep phase. Um, he's going to be starting day one of his you know, coaching program on Monday coming up here in the next few days. <clears throat> and we had our kickoff call, kind of just going over, you know, feedback, what he likes, what he doesn't like, what adjustments that we can make before he gets started, just to make this, you know, fat loss journey of him becoming the best version of himself in 2023 a lot easier, you know? And so he's telling me everything, and he was mentioning about, hey, you know, you guys talk a lot about the mindset, and he wants to kind of know the background of, like, why we focus so much on mindset, um, and he wanted to kind of share with me that, hey, he started to personally use uh, gratitude in his own life. You know, he mentioned about, you know, a close friend of his uh, was actually injured. Uh, I think he said it in a snowmobile accident where, you know, he's paralyzed. And he was just, you know, Greg was just out for a walk and it, it kind of made him think differently because he happened to watch some of the mindset videos, listen to the podcast and it, just for a split second, as he's out there on the walk, he mentioned about, man, like, this is, this is real. Like, I, I, like, I'm grateful to be walking right now because who knows? Like, we're not granted anything. Our life isn't promised. Like, you know, I could potentially get in an accident and, you know, be paralyzed as well. So, hey, the small little things, let's be grateful for. And it, as soon as he said that, I was like, I was very proud of him. For admitting and saying that because that's what we want. But what I want to share with you guys is kind of what I shared with Greg. And that is that gratitude and money is kind of like the same thing. 
honestly, and hear me out because I know some people are going to be far-fetched. I know anytime you talk about money, right, there's somebody that loves talking about money. Like I love talking about money, right? I love talking about businesses. I love talking about stocks. I love talking about investments and I love money, right? I'm like, be honest with you. I love money um, because at the end of the day, it's an amplifier, just like how gratitude, which I'm going to share about in a second, is another amplifier that could change your life in a tremendous way. But let me be real with you guys. I don't love money for the sake of materialistic things, okay? I love money for the sake of investments. I love money for the sake of um, resources and what I can do with it. So uh, obviously, the more money I make, that's great. Because guess what? Like, <laughs> You guys are laughing if you see what kind of vehicle I drive. I drive a 2012 Honda Civic, okay? This thing has 90,000 miles, and I will be driving this thing until it's literally 300,000 miles and the thing's, you know, rusted away. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't care at all about fancy clothes. I don't care about fancy houses. I don't care about, like, fancy cars, shoes, any of that crap, right? Like, that's not me at all. I care more about, hey, what can I do to really help somebody's life? So with me, right, the more money I make, I invest literally like all of it into something, right? Majority of it goes into the business. Uh, a good sum of it goes into investments. So like different stocks, like mutual funds, um, you know, obviously different IRAs, different things like that, right? Like I'm a, I'm a smart cookie. Uh, actually, I'm not a smart cookie. It's just I read a lot and um, I filled out a math class one time in school and I was forced to read a, a Dave Ramsey <laughs> book about the total money makeover inside of our accounting class that I had to take for the extra credit points. And that book changed my life. So if you guys want to learn about like how to prepare for the future, go read a Dave Ramsey book or go listen to his podcast. But anyways, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't trust me. Um, so, and we're, I'm getting off topic with this, but the reason why I'm sharing with you guys this is because I use money to just amplify to make things better. Okay. Now, some people could use money uh, as an amplifier to make their lives better with like having better clothes, having obviously a better house, right? Having a better car and like, you know, materialistic things. I use money as an amplifier, right? To one, make my life easier because if I can just hire in more coaches, right? It makes my life a lot easier. If I could also make more money to invest more into Facebook ads for marketing or invest into different campaigns for, let's say, LinkedIn ads, guess what? Like, then we got more clients coming in. It makes my life easier, right? Because, like, to me, like, I like doing that. I like investing back in the business where it's just putting more money back into the business tenfold, right? But also, when the more money or the more, you know, business, the more money the business makes, I can invest into more coaches. I can invest into more resources, better things for the client experience, uh, better things to also help change people's lives, whether it's the clients, whether it's new coaches, whatever the case may be. I like doing all that stuff. Like I like having that personal effect where like if I want to, you know, change someone's life or do something, like I love that, right? I love that. And so like I use money as an amplifier to just make better experiences happen in my life. Not necessarily materialistic experiences like clothes, cars, money, and there's nothing, or clothes, cars, and you know, houses, and there's nothing wrong with that at all, right? I'm just letting you know, like, that's not my forte. My forte is more about, like, hey, I got a big mission here to change the world with Heartletics, and I know for a fact we're gonna need some more coaches <laughs> if we're gonna change the world, right? We're gonna need more resources if we're gonna change the world, right? Probably gotta be spending a lot more money on Facebook ads and you know YouTube ads and doing different things like that. I, I can use that, right? Money as an amplifier, as a resource, okay? But here's the here's the reality: the money, right? It just amplifies. And that's the key word I keep on saying because we're going to talk about gratitude here in a second that this is all going to make sense. Trust me. Um, so money just amplifies, right? If let's say like you, you like cars, right? And you're like me that drives a 2012 Honda Civic with 90,000 miles because you don't really drive anywhere besides your son's daycare and the grocery store <laughs> and the gym. Well, hey, man, like you can definitely, you know, upgrade your vehicle because you like cars, right? You got the money. You can amplify your vehicle, right, and make it better or buy a new one, 
right? If you don't like the house that you're living in, you know, you can amplify it. You can make it bigger, right? And like have a nice, better community, whatever the case may be. Like money is just an amplifier. And everybody has, once again, either they love money or they completely go cold turkey and they hate money because they believe that money is the root of all evil. At the end of the day, to me, it's just a piece of paper. It grows on trees. Um, the mindset that I honestly have with money is like, it's like water. Hey, <laughs> they're printing out this stuff every single day, right? It's like water. It's it's always going to be there. It's kind of like, hey, when it rains, eventually that rain has to dry out, right? But eventually, guess what? Like, it's going to come back. It's going to rain again. There's big lakes. There's big oceans everywhere. It's all over, right? Like, there's tons and tons of money out there. It's just you have to change your mindset when it comes to money and how you view it. If you view it that it's the, you know, the root of all evil, I don't know what to tell you, right? I view money as a great resource to, once again, amplify things, make things better, right? If I make things better in terms of my business, where my business morals and ethics is helping out others, contributing back to society, right? Making this world a better place. Guess what? I want money because it's a great amplifier to make the world a better place. So once again, just change your mindset on how you view things. And that's what the goal is for the podcast. What we do with everything with Heartletics is changing the way that you think. Now, long spiel about money over with. Let's get into gratitude, right? And this is the main meat in the bones of today's episode is having gratitude be an amplifier in your life. So what do I mean by that? Well, you heard about Greg saying that, you know, at the end of the day, he's really starting to pick up a little bit from the mindset just early on right now in his prep phase, which is great. Right? I honestly believe he's going to have such a successful 2023 because he's already learning about the mindset here in his prep phase before he even got started with coaching, right? which is great. And so you know, you heard about him talking about one of his friends getting in an accident and how he's paralyzed. And Greg now is out for a walk and he's realizing here like just taking a step back and being grateful. Wow, like I'm able to be physically fit enough to do this and walk, right? How many, and this is going to suck, right? If you're actually being real with yourself, how many times are you guys grateful for walking? How many times are you guys grateful for breathing? How many times are you guys grateful for toothpaste and a toothbrush and grateful for your family and grateful for your occupation, no matter how much you don't like it and how you wish you were making more money? But at the end of the day, there's probably somebody that could be begging to have your life. It's things like this that you don't take granted for. And once again, money, right, that we just talked about is an amplifier to just improve on things. Gratitude, guys, is the same way to help improve on your life. Meaning that literally this is the dividing factor about like what makes somebody successful or not and really changes their mindset. It's all about gratitude. This is, I cannot stress this enough. This is the golden nugget right here. Like you really have to pick up what I'm putting down here. If you are not grateful, right, for the things that you have, you can never amplify and get better things because at the end of the day, you're literally putting out the vibrations that it doesn't matter what you have. You're never gonna be grateful for what you have. Now, vice versa, if let's say you make a little bit of money, but yet you're grateful to make a little bit of money, I promise you, right, you will have more money. You will make more money. Maybe that's different ideas. Maybe that's different opportunities, but something will happen in your life where you will make more money because you're grateful for what you have now, your health, right? Maybe you're you're fat, you're lazy, you're broke, you're out of shape, right? And you hate life, right? Sucks for you. But at the end of the day, guess what? You woke up today. You got breath in your lungs. Somebody else didn't wake up today. You should be grateful that you woke up today. And most people are not. You know, I talk about in our mindset coaching phases what I specifically like to do first in the morning to set the tone for the rest of the day. Uh, A lot of that has to do with the gratitude journaling that I do. But before I even do that, before my feet even touch the ground, as soon as I wake up, I fold my hands. I say a quick little prayer. Thank you, God, for waking me up today. And then I instantly just close my eyes and I do a gratitude walk. A gratitude walk, right? That is a mental picture in my head because I have to think. I'm training my mind to start thinking now. And this gratitude walk 
is I start in my bedroom, okay? Mentally, I'm not actually moving out of my bedroom. I'm just sitting there once again, my eyes closed, thinking. And in every room that I go to in my house, I think about five things I'm grateful for. So what could be something that you guys can do? Well, hey, you woke up in your bedroom. Are you grateful for your pillow? Are you grateful for your bed sheets? Are you grateful for your clothes? Are you grateful for your closet? Are you grateful for, you know, um, the lamp? It's like you probably never thought about that. Now, if you challenge yourself to every day, think about something brand new that you're grateful for in every single room that you go to, I promise you, your life will change like that dramatically. You would be so much happier. You would probably be so much more positive. You'd probably start looking at life a lot differently because you're starting to be grateful for what you actually have. And it's a simple exercise. Start off in your room and start off small. Don't think you have to do every room in the house. Some days I do, some days I don't, right? But like I usually start off in my room and now go to the bathroom, right? Once again, mentally in my own head, not actually physically walking yet, mentally in my own head. And I'm saying five things I'm grateful for. Maybe that's the shower curtains. Maybe that's running water. Maybe that's toilet paper. Maybe that's the toothbrush, the toothpaste, the mirror, simple things like that. Then you go to your kitchen. Once again, think about five things that you're grateful for. Then you go to the living room. Then you go to the garage, whatever the case may be. When you start focusing, and this exercise, it's it's pros and cons, right? One, it will change your life dramatically if you do it and if you can be consistent with it. Uh, the, the biggest thing though, the con is the hardest thing is it's very easy to fall right back asleep. <laughs> your eyes are closed, right? Like you're already dead tired. You're still kind of that theta brainwave, right? Where you're just kind of waking up. It, it's very easy to go right back to sleep. That's the reality. But uh, it's just like if you can actually mentally stay alert and just practice this, right? Practice makes perfect, right? Repetition, 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 right? What do they say about repetition? Repetition is the mother of all learning. Napoleon Hill in his book, Outwitting the Devil, right? Literally talks about like, you want to be great at anything you do in life. Repetition is key. That's why Heartletics, right? We give away these wristbands, right? To anybody that signs up for our coaching program, consistency is key. Repetitions, just show up, put in the work, that's it. So, Use gratitude as an amplifier. I kind of shared with you, and the reason why I talked about money here in the beginning of today's episode was because, one, I want you guys to have a different outtake on money, right? Plain and simple. Two, you need to understand that like, hey, money, it's just an amplifier, just like how gratitude is. Because if you're starting to become more grateful for what you have, I promise you it's going to come back tenfold, right? If you're fat, lazy, and broke, and you don't like your health, guess what? You woke up today and somebody else did it. I'll say that again, right? So at least be grateful that you woke up today. You might not like your job, but hey, it's a job. It pays the bills, right? Uh, Somebody else could be wishing that they had your occupation. Be grateful. That's it. Be grateful. And sometimes it's the smallest things. And I was reminded about this today talking to Greg, right? Like his friend got in an accident. Uh, Greg mentioned that he went for a walk and was just like, wow, I realize here that I'm doing something and I never even thought about it, but yet there's other people that can't be doing this right now. And when you utilize gratitude, I promise you, it's going to amplify your life. It's going to make it so much better. Just like how money amplifies whatever it is that you, you want to you know showcase or have better in your life, gratitude does the same thing, but in my opinion, like 10 times more than money. Because money, right, in my opinion, right, You can use money, and yes, it can help out, but it's not going to be that long-term effect of making you feel good. Gratitude is like a mental muscle, and we talk about this a lot inside of our mindset coaching phases, where when you focus on what's grateful in your life, whatever you're grateful for grows like a muscle, repetition, 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 and that's long-lasting, right? Money's like water, once again. It's going to come in, it's going to go out. Just what water, right? It's all over the world, right? At the end of the day, when you focus on gratitude, though, that's different. That's long lasting. So, guys, sorry to uh, bore you with a little mindset, you know, podcast today, but I figured it would be great to talk about this just because, hey, here we are still early on in 2023. As you guys know, Heartletics is not just about meal plans and workouts and physical fitness, it's more about the mindset shift right? 
And when you guys can focus on the mindset shift, I promise you, your life is going to change tenfold. So start being grateful for what you have. And I promise you, uh, you're going to be more positive. Uh, you're going to start have, being more happier. Your life will change hands down. Just remember, repetition is the mother of all learning, right? You have to practice it. Just like working out a muscle in the gym, you got to practice gratitude. Either get yourself a journal, start writing down some things that you're grateful for every single day, doing maybe a mental gratitude walk like what I do. At the end of the day, it doesn't have to be too hard. You just have to think differently. And when you think differently, right, when you see the world differently on how you think differently, the world is going to change in your eyes. I promise you that. Speaking from personal experience here, you can have anything that you want in this world. It's just all about how you see it and perceive it. So guys, this has been the Heartletics Podcast with Coach Joe. Hopefully you guys got some value. If you did, definitely go share this on your social media page because I would love you and your friends to know all about gratitude and how it can also change and amplify your life just like how it did for me. With that being said, talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scout.